Redfall, Starfield, a top-secret mobile game in development, Ghostwire, Tokyo for Xbox, and Redfall are all part of Bethesda Softworks' 2023 slate, and that is only the very top of the iceberg. Many fans are eagerly awaiting news on any and all of Bethesda's projects because there is already so much scheduled for release in the near future. Starfield, one of the biggest 2023 projects, is getting closer to release even though there is still a lot of unanswered questions. Despite more than seven years of development, Starfield has only had a few details revealed. As the release dates of several of Bethesda's upcoming projects approach, an Xbox showcase is anticipated to reveal more details. Starfield news, scheduled for release in 2023. An Xbox showcase is forthcoming, possibly in the first quarter of 2023, Aaron Greenberg suggested on Twitter. The tweet was a retweet of the Xbox Game Pass compilation of current and upcoming games, the Game Awards, which prominently featured Starfield, a game that is in need of more information before its upcoming release. The primary source of information so far has been Starfield's announcement and gameplay reveal at the 2022 Xbox Bethesda Showcase, with a brief developer interview in between. Character creation, brief gunplay, and examples of the dialogue system have all been shown to fans, but the specifics of the game's other key features are still unknown. Fans can anticipate learning this information in the upcoming months as marketing will probably ramp up once a release date is confirmed. The need for more Starfield information is greater than ever as the gaming community as a whole seems to be less willing to buy into hype after recent failures. Support after launch and DLC for Starfield in 2023 the integration of mods into the game is Starfield's most significant potential feature. The idea is looking very promising for both PC and console platforms, with mods ultimately becoming a key component of previous Bethesda games like Fallout 4 and Skyrim. In fact, Bethesda's RPG-specific bugs are already being fixed by modders and patches for Starfield. It makes sense that there will be DLC after the initial release, based on games from Bethesda such as Skyrim, Fallout, and others. Starfield's list of planetary locations appears to be as comprehensive as it can be, so any potential DLC could focus on something other than adding new places to explore. DLC might take the form of a subscription that gradually incorporated well-liked user and developer mods into the core game, like the Creation Club from Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Perhaps a Fallout 76 DLC in the Fallout world style could add customizable and humorous modifiers to the building mechanics as well as other unique effects to gameplay since Starfield has building mechanics that allow players to create bases and ships in the game, Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, and other Bethesda games. Although the release of Fallout 5 was confirmed, it was stated to follow Elder Scrolls 6, which will follow Starfield, making news of the Fallout and Elder Scrolls sequels unlikely to surface until 2023. Redfall and Starfield will be released in 2023, specifically in that order. This could push back every release from Bethesda Game Studios further than anticipated given the Redfall delay rumor. In addition to their main series games, Todd Howard revealed Bethesda is working on a mobile game, though even less is known about it than the Elder Scrolls 6 project. Meanwhile, Elder Scrolls Online will get new content updates in 2023 that veer from the previous content model that dispersed its expansions over the course of the year with time gates. Upon release, the fresh expansions will be fully accessible. Fallout 76, another Bethesda live service title, will start its second year of a five-year plan in March and feature new seasonal scoreboard content, in addition to other as yet unannounced features. Fans can anticipate the MMOs to continue in a more or less similar fashion. The mobile game is obviously harder to predict. The battle for Bethesda in 2023 is led by Redfall. Redfall will be released first, followed by Starfield and all the other upcoming games, as was already mentioned. The video game Redfall, which is being created by Bethesda's Arcane Studios, was first revealed in 2021 at the E3 presentation for Xbox and Bethesda. Although it substitutes stealth with team shooting strategies, the game clearly acknowledges the visual and mechanical similarities to Dishonored and Deathloop. Redfall seems to focus more on horror than any of Arcane's previous games, including Prey, even without a strong emphasis on stealth. Tokyo lands on Xbox in 2023, according to Ghostwire. Before Microsoft purchased Bethesda, Tango Gameworks Ghostwire, Tokyo was initially released exclusively for the PlayStation. However, the exclusivity agreement is anticipated to expire one year after the game's release date. Tokyo, Ghostwire's Xbox release was initially hinted at by artwork found at Bethesda's publishing headquarters. The fact that Deathloop will also be available on Xbox in the interim further supports this. Ghostwire, Tokyo will probably appear at the Xbox showcase that is rumored to take place in Q1 of 2023 because the exclusivity agreement expires in March. Work is also being done in other Bethesda studios. Other Bethesda studios are currently working on projects in addition to the aforementioned upcoming games from Arcane and BGS, though some will probably require more time after 2023. A new AAIP and a new engine are currently being developed by ZeniMax Online Studios. 
Ghostwire, Tokyo is still going to be updated and expanded by Tango Gameworks. However, Quake can later in August may change that. Recently, ID Software hasn't mentioned anything in the works. There hasn't been any new information regarding the Indiana Jones video game from Machine Games since its reveal was hinted at in 2021. In 2023, Starfield will be available on PC and Xbox Series X, S. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.